Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Football Manager 2011 Season 2, and this is a crunch game against Cluj. Uh, remember last time, the first, I think this was the first game, I think it was in the Champions League, I could be wrong. But uh, yeah, this is a big, big game, and uh, we really do need to win. Uh, if I show you the uh, group currently, as it stands, with Europe, where is it? There it is. Uh, Champions League, Champions Cup. As you can see, Atletico have basically qualified, but... Um, Roma have got a tricky tie against them, uh, and then, uh, obviously, depending on how they do, we have one more game against Roma, so it's still all to play for. But if Roma do win, um, the pressure is really then on us. Um, we're really sort of banking on Atletico winning, um, because obviously, if Roma win, they'll move to ten points. But obviously, if we win, um, not we will probably will be will be guaranteed at least Europa League. But let's be honest, we don't want that. Um, and we need to uh, we we need to win and hope that Atletico also beat Roma. So I'll have their um, score up as well. I think I'll put theirs up on on the side. Uh, team Fernando Torres starting once again. Steven Gerrard just behind him in some incredible form. Hazard on the left. Um, I'm gonna give it a give him a few more goes now. He's getting on the on the uh, on the wings. Uh, Cal's on the other side. Morales and Adam. Uh, Kalu is suspended. Um, and I've decided to drop Jimmy Carragher again just for the natural sort of pace and. Uh, uh, so yeah, just just general better awareness, I suppose, with Wilson and Aga. Just sort of, I think that is slowly becoming a, a better sort of pairing at centre back now, with Jamie Carragher slowly um, forced, getting forced out by the likes of Wilson and O'Reilly, who actually hasn't done too bad. So, okay, well, um, what we should do, we'll just pause before we do that to go to the latest goal. We're going to use this as um, the latest score thing. Uh, so we're looking for the middle one there, Atletico Roma any change in those results there. So that's going to be our little overview screen for this game. Uh, should also change that back to control. And uh, hopefully we can have a good game today. And Torres already moving into the box. Oh, and he's put it away already. Well, he is most certainly back now. Fernando Torres puts it in inside three minutes. And, well, I think that's that could hopefully set the tone. That's what we needed. Absolutely. And that's going to put the pressure right on uh, on Roma to get something now. So we are level, although uh, more eagle eye viewers may have spotted uh, the uh, goal difference. Our goal difference is considerably worse than um, Roma's. There is there's a like plus five. I think ours is plus three. Now that's down to plus uh, mi sorry minus two. Sorry minus minus three. It's now down to minus two. And uh, good ball there from Glenn Johnson over the top and Fernando Torres absolutely bread and butter to him there. And we have taken the lead, and uh, there it is, first uh, goal of the uh, of the day or the evening. And uh, oh, Lukaku! <laughs> okay, the goals the slow trickling in. Arsenal scored. There's another goal there. One Hazard with the ball in. Nothing coming of it. Someone did say uh, Hazard. Maybe it might be worth throwing him on the uh, on the wings, and I think that's probably what I will be doing. Oh, Torres has just doubled the lead. Goodness me, he's back and in some form. Unbelievable strike here from Fernando Torres. I thought this was going wide, but it just suddenly bent at the last moment. Where's this come from? It's a pass from Morelles. Just turn and swivel shot, and it's gone in on, up the, in the corner. I don't believe it. Torres is uh, well. He's back with a bang. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, unbelievable. I was expecting Cluj to give us a really good game here today, but no. Torres has just silenced them and. He's going through the defenders there, you know, he's doing really well here. And Hazard, oh, good save by Ivan, or Ivan, however you want to pronounce that. Uh, but um, they look really confident, they look really up for this, and they know uh, they need to win here, I think. Well, I don't know if that if they do or not, but... <laughs> oh, and Gerard didn't gamble, but Kautz put it in anyway. It's 3-0. It's 3-0 inside 25 minutes. This is unbelievable. I don't know where this has come from. All of a sudden, the team was starting to put... Oh, wow. <laughs> Torres again. He made this go. Yeah, good ball across. Gerard stopped. I'm not too sure why. <laughs> both players... Wow. Both the Cluj players there tried to take the ball off him. And uh, failed. <laughs> that was absolutely... That was weird seeing that. But look at this. They're absolutely destroying this Cluj team. I've never... Ah, this is... I've not seen this all season. I, t I, was, I told you about just, just waiting for... The, a, a team so just we're gonna get all of them we're gonna grab them by the balls and we're gonna rip them and I think that not not, not rip the balls obviously but you, you know like as in just dominate them and 
oh, this is what's happening. I was expecting Cluj, especially away from home, where we are. I was expecting Cluj at home to give us a great, great game here. Oh, and Aiden Hazard. What a run from Hazard. And I think he hit the bar. I think the goalie pushed it onto the bar. My God. When Danny Wilson puts it across. Oh, and nearly found Torres for his hat trick. Could have had a hat trick inside half an hour. Um, still no goals, as you can see. Oh, no. Atletico have scored Sergio Aguero right on cue. Um, Spots Atletico in front. Now, this. Um, I was going on about um, uh, goal difference. Well, this is going to do as an absolute. This is going to be great. Oh, and Danny Wilson nearly at the back post there. Not on from Aga. Well, this is going to do our goal difference an absolute world of good. Um, absolutely brilliant. I want to say thrilled. Um, this is just wow. Absolutely unbelievable performance. And even the conditions are fine. Ram Morales is still in 90. Glenn Johnson still 94. And I showed you how much pressure they put on. So what we're going to do before the second half starts... Um, let's have a look at the scores then. So Atletico lead Roma, which is good. Um, goal updates. Well, they're no good, aren't they? Well, I'd rather see that. Let's have a look at the table then. So now, Roma, their goal difference has been knocked down to plus four. We're now on zero. So, things are getting better for us here. I mean, Atletico already qualified. That was, that was always a given. But um, that's really good. That is really, really good for us. And at the moment, we are guaranteeing um, Europa League at the absolute least. And again, we restart possession inside 40 seconds already on an, on the attack. Look at the room they have. Look at the it's just amazing. And there's his hat trick, Fernando Torres. That just so that was so easy. I didn't even have to commentate that. That was just so easy. I was not, again. I was just not expecting that to go in. I have not honestly. I've, I don't know what on earth that someone's put it in the t in the team's drinks here. But my God, look at the room he has. No one's closing them down. <laughs> I don't know what the goalkeeper's doing. <laughs> Goalkeeper just um. Oh wow, that was that was poor. Well now we'll I'll move our goal difference up to plus one. Um, and so we're only three goals behind Roma now. So. You know, it is going to go down to that crunch game against, as it, as it seems currently, it's going to go down to that big game. I think it's at Anfield actually, which is playing into our advantage once again um, at, uh, against Roma. So that will be really good. And obviously, any goals we get now, we just have to make sure we don't concede. And uh, any goals now we get really are going to be extra. Just all dispersed there. I really would like them to get some more goals, just so we can just improve that goal difference. Because once once that goal difference is just get high if we can just get it higher and higher and higher overtake Roma you know I mean especially obviously Atletico will be doing us a favour if they score as well uh, you see we don't need oh it's just pinged off the I think I was off the post and into Reina but that's the first real chance Cluj have had all game so we're gonna um, let's just see how oh has it oh if he, if he took that on could have took that on I'm sorry but I just I, I want to make a sub or I'm, I'm glued to the, to the action Morella has makes it five. Cross from Torres, absolutely. I've never well, that is just total and utter domination. Um, we're gonna throw uh, Andy Carroll on as well as uh, Joe Cole for. Well, I guess Hazard. <laughs> um, let's have a look at this goal then. Torres just puts the ball. Well, he didn't need to see that really. Torres just put it across, and. Um, Morale Morellas knocks it in for 5 0. Um, really, not expecting this. As you can see, Terek, never heard of them. Beating Verde Bremen 3 0 in Bremen. That's just bizarre. Uh, Arsenal have two goals against Marseille. Well, if we can get six, be very happy. And uh, the referee, <laughs> you never know with the refs on this game. That could have been a red card on the other day. You know, when the game was just. Oh, Danny Wilson, no. What can he do here? No, I think I thought you thought he might be lining up for a shot there. I was like, why not? Oh, Carroll puts a good ball in the box. And it's been knocked in there by Dirk House again. He just constantly pops up with these goals. It's six. This is just too easy. Well, I mean, we've been struggling all season for goals. Kind of. 
Well, sort of. We have and we haven't. No, no, we know we haven't. That's an absolute lie. That is a total lie. Been conceding far too many goals. Deck out underneath the uh, defender there. Slides in and sort of nutmegs him <laughs> with his legs. Um, okay, we're going to make one more sub, I think. Uh, we shall take off. Oh, God, I don't even know what the hell to take off. Um, I guess we'll take Torres off. Uh, we'll throw Maxi on. Let's do that. Okay, so that's six. That's going to help our goal difference immensely. And um, Atle Atletico were do doing another brilliant job for us if they could score, but I don't think that's it. Look, one minute of injury time. And that's that. Absolutely sensational uh, performance. Uh, let's press continue. And 6 0. And as you can say, so now we are level on points with Roma. Uh, there's the final scores. Wow, Barca against Maccabi High for 3 2. What a game that was. Uh, 1 0 finished Atletico and Roma. And as you can see, look at the rating from Fernando Torres. Three goals and two assists. 9.8. <laughs> you don't see that. 11 to 2. Um, wow. Um, domination. Absolute domi domination. You never see that in the Champions League, ever. But 6 nil. So going back to stuff from uh, Besiktas there. £696,000. Um, wow. <laughs> Let's go to the post-match conference. I'm in absolute shock. Once again, I don't know why this thing about I cannot still take uh, Wilson off the transfer list. It's very annoyed. Excuse me. Um, let's hold on. So this is the group. As you can see, we are right back into it now. Clues have gone. Um, we are right in it. We now will play Roma, um, and whoever wins um, basically goes through it. Although we, although if Roma draw, if, if so, if the game turns out to be a draw, um, they go through. It seems um, it's a shame that because our goals for and goals against are actually. Oh, sorry, no, they're not goals. We have more goals for. I don't know what comes first, but that that fixture then that will be a live commentary. Definitely, it's not that far away at all. At Anfield, 6th of December, it's now the 23rd of November. That's not far off at all. Uh, next game, as you can see, which is in three days, is against Middlesbrough. Hope you will join me for that. Uh, we actually played them in the pre-season, the final pre-season game at Anfield, and they actually beat us. So um should be a good uh, good little game, that. So I hope you can join me for that. And uh, I thank you very much for watching, watching this absolute wrecking ball fest, or whatever the hell you want to call it today. Absolute destruction, Cluj. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you for the Borough game. Goodbye.